Salutations audience, it's your boy Danny Del Fuego, and today we're going to be taking a look at some expensive Hot Pockets. Let's get cooking. So for this episode, we got the <coughs> Better Baker Pretzel Melts, Pepperoni and Cheese. And we got the Better Baker Pretzel Melts, Turkey and Provolone. So... We're going to be trying the provolone one first. Hope these are good. I really like both pepperoni and turkey. So, uh, I guess you're going to have to watch the video to find out which one is better on this episode of Microwave Masterpieces. Let's get cooking. So guys, I'm back. Food is cooked in the microwave. Let's take a look. I don't have any sunglasses gags right about now. So, uh, how about you guys take them? Good? All right. So, taking a look. It's got a really nice pretzel shine to it. Uh, little things on the top are good. Cheese is melted nice. Uh, it's nice and warm. Wow, I must admit, this is looking very delectable. Let's take our first bite. Mmm, that's a nice cooked cheese flavor, I must admit. That and the pretzel really combinates into something delicious. It's got like little uh, crumbly bread bits that add a lot to the flavor and texture. Got a nice pretzel-y texture on the outside, almost like a kind of like school bus seat texture in a good way. It's like, have you touched a pretzel before? Like, it, uh, it feels like a pretzel. Mm -mm -mm. I can't get enough of these flavors. These are so much better than those Hot Pocket things. Turkey and cheese? Yes, please. All right, on to the pepperoni one. I'm really excited for that one. All right, guys, so uh, we're back. We got the pepperoni one. Uh, let's take a look. It's got some nice melted cheese coming from the end. The crumbly is on top. Look more seasoned this time. Sauce coming from one end, cheese coming from the other. It's looking like a pretty good meal so far. Let's take a bite. I'm getting a little punch with the pepperoni. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm getting a nice punch from the pepperoni, but not as much of a pepperoni flavor as I'd like. You know, you know, the insides are good for sure, but I think what really sells this is the pretzel outside. Because, you know, sometimes you want to get a Hot Pocket, but sometimes you want to get it better. Good stuff, Better Baker. Now let's get on to the final thoughts. So guys, I'm back after trying both the pepperoni and the turkey one. So it's time for my final thoughts. So as far as the turkey provolone goes, I did really like the cheese. It's a nice provolone flavor for sure. Turkey was very good, had a good flavor to it. Nice and thinly sliced for the inside. Nice and hot. But of course, you know, the pretzel outside really sold it to me. You know, I feel like it's definitely better than like the Hot Pocket shell. Pepperoni one was nice too. Something to note, I didn't feel like the pepperoni had as much of a punch. Pepperonis usually have a pretty good flavor, but I didn't really feel that. The cheese was, you know, similar, so I can't dock points for the cheese. The sauce was okay, but again, it's still, you know, pretzel hot pocket. I'm gonna have to give the turkey one a 9 out of 10. Very good flavors. The only thing is these are $5 for two sandwiches, so it is pretty expensive. If you're willing to spend the money, I definitely recommend the turkey one. All right, I'm gonna give the pepperoni one a 5 out of 10. Pretty middle of the road. Not bad, but again, you can't really go wrong with Pretzel Hot Pocket as a concept. So which one would I recommend? 
I would definitely recommend the turkey one. I do feel like, again, the pepperoni was kind of wasted potential. That was my review of the Better Baker Pretzel Melts. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content, liking this video, sharing it to some of your friends you think will also enjoy it, and uh, comment some stuff down, you know what I mean? Everything helps. Plus, you know, I read all comments, answer them all. You're gonna feel a little special when I uh, put a little heart next to your comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's Guy Fietti. Danny Del Fuego, out.